welcome. And thank you for joining us today. We have learned from the experts, sponsored by the Women's Business Owner Alliance, better known as WBOA. And today, I have Megan Joy with me. Hello, Megan. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. So now tell me your business and your position and all that. Fantastic, so I am an independent sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. Right, everybody yes. knows Mary Kay. Yes, yes, very reputable name and trusted business. Yes, yes. that's great. Yep. And what is your position with them? So I am an independent senior sales director. So I have a group of about 120 women that I have the privilege of mentoring and leading and showing the, the path of success and it's quite fulfilling. I quite bet. fulfilling. Yes. That's huge, 120? Yes. yes. So where has where has that gotten you? Like, do you have anything to show for that? <laughs> I do, I do, I do actually. I have the illustrious, as Mary Kay would call it, the trophy on wheels, the pink Cadillac. That's awesome. Yes, which is just, and I've it does represent them. the beautiful achievements of all of my girls. So I, I drive it to represent them and their accomplishments. Um, you know, so it's, it's a collective effort and it's always uh, a beautiful thing. One of my dearest friends says you can never have a bad day in a pink Cadillac, which is so true. <laughs> oh, <it> is. <laughs> yes. No, that is. That yep. is great. And I'm sure sometimes when you feel a little discouraged, you just look outside yep. and say, oh, it's there she true. is. It's true. She's still there. It's still mine. Yes. Right. Yes. It's amazing. So what are a couple of things that you would attribute to having this level of success? That's a great question. I feel like... The number one piece is to always stay connected to a mentor. Mm. And I, I do have the privilege of being connected to the woman who started me in the business. Um, and she was, you know, my right hand gal, still is. Um, wow. And it's, I'm, I'm very, you know, blessed to be able to have had that level of devotion from her, um, as well as guidance, mentorship, and of course, blossoming into friendships. Right. Um, and so I think that that's really been uh, the biggest piece that I've been able to attribute is to just have a, a role model and someone that I can follow in the footsteps of. Uh, someone who's been there before me, paved the way, and is willing to reach down her hand and say, let me help you and show you and guide you. That's so, great. Yeah. And I've heard that from a lot of successful people that mentorship is really important. Yeah, so it is. either giving mentorship or receiving it is just Absolutely. great. Absolutely. And, and that's true because now being a sales director myself, I'm able to take what she's taught me and know that I am where I am because of her and because of her guidance and her direction that I'm able to pass that on to my girls as well. And so Great. I take that very seriously um, because I know that if they can latch on to me and I can help to guide them the same way that my relationship was with my mentor, then that will help to attribute ultimately everyone's success. Oh, sure. So that's always my biggest goal. Now, what do you think some habits are that have helped you in your success? Yeah, connection. You know, connection all the time and, and constantly seeking and wanting to evolve um, and always having that growth, mm -hmm. you know, is, is going to be big in, in, a, in a business and certainly in entrepreneurship, you know, where um, I don't have a boss. Right. I sit at right. home and it's under my direction mm -hmm. and it's up to me to reach out if I need help. Yes. That takes initiative mm -hmm. and that takes an internal drive that you need as an entrepreneur right? because you're self-driven. Mm -hmm. You have to be self-driven self to be successful. Sure. So maybe some people listening might have that level of self-drivenness, I guess you could say. Mm. But when things, when you find yourself in a slump or things aren't going yeah. well, is there like a little technique you have or? It's that, it's that connection. Oh, really? Oh, okay, daily. so you just keep like reaching out daily. and doing something. Daily connection. And I do surround myself with, there's a lot of tears to our business, which is nice. So I really have a cushion of support underneath me from, you know, my mentor to um, my national sales director to the company and also to a, a, a blossoming you know group of uh, sister sales directors that we all support each other right. um, and so I know at any given moment really truthfully whether it's personal or business related that there's always someone I can reach to right. so that even in my times of feeling that I'm in a dip or a slump or I'm having a hard day or something's just not going the way that I want it to be there is always someone there to pull me up and help to pour belief back into me 
That's, um, a, that's a good way of putting it, pouring yes, belief back into yes, you. That's yes. good. Because sometimes we don't always have the belief within <laughs> ourselves at those right. low moments. It's true. And you need somebody to and be so able I to think, you know, pour So into you're you. lucky to have that. So you know, a lot of people listening might be so sole entrepreneurs where they don't have that. They're just out there on yes. their own. So I guess it's important to build ask for help and build yes. that community around yourself. Yes. And, and to seek that guidance mm -hmm. within your level of expertise. Right. You know, and, and so to always get out into different pockets, you know, to join the women's groups, to join the other business alliances, to join whatever it is There's that you so feel is a out niche. There. Women supporting women. I know. It There's is. There's nothing like it. No, you're absolutely And helping right. to raise each other up, whether it's in your field or just within your um, your your organization, your your business, your community, whatever it is. And there is a lot out there. There's so yes. many groups. And not only groups, but I find, say, with what I do, I don't always find exactly what I'd like support for. Mm. And I find even online, sometimes I've looked for YouTube videos. Sure. And I found people doing the same thing with the same struggles and they're talking yes. about it. So I'll start following them. Right. And but that's your internal drive, wanting to continue to make that exactly. go. So you're seeking that. So exactly. whether you do have someone, I was lucky enough to have that direct mentor. Mm -hmm. So whether you have that or you don't, to seek out what it is that you need is going to be very important, very important oh, to find sure. that, you know, in conferences and, um, you know, whether you're religious and there's a group that you can belong to that helps to keep that internal drive going. Yes, like community. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, this is all great because it's true. We're not out there alone. Yeah, And no, if we find that we are, feel we're alone, there's or always whatever. a place we to reach. We just got to go and do something. But you have to do it. Oh, yes. You have that's to take that action. Yes, action. And oh, I think I that I... that willingness is is the biggest piece. Yes. You know, that communication and the willingness, mm -hmm. you know, is is big within, um, you know, finding that level of success and having that internal drive, not relying on someone else to drive you. Right. And what I find works for me a lot, I love sayings. I have sayings on um, note cards. Yeah. Um, I get pictures of sayings. Yeah. I get cards. I have cups with sayings on them. Yes. It surrounds my house. And every time, you know, I leave my bedroom, there's a saying right here. I'm sitting at my desk. There's, you know, I think because it's like, I know that works for me. Yes. And it helps. And helps so with the subconscious, too. And exactly. it helps to continue to, yep, I can do it. it Today's yep. the day, you yep. know? <laughs> exactly. Yes. So now as um, a person that does this kind of business that you have to be self-motivated. Are there some pitfalls you'd want to warn some people about that you've well, noticed? I, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm in the skincare and color cosmetic industry with Mary Kay Cosmetics, of course, and we've always stayed tried and true to skincare and color cosmetics. Um, so I think that, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you feel about competition that's out there? Um, I think it's just being, being mindful and being aware that, um, you know, we, we each are going to find our path. We each are going to find, um, you know, whatever we, we can associate with very closely. Um, but to find your why, to find your, your sense of, of what you're driven with, and to find why, to have an understanding that I'm placed where I'm placed at for a reason. So I was placed into Mary Kay Cosmetics. I'm very clear that that was my path. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of reasons about what our company stands for. Um, a lot of the heart and soul of our company that in my eyes we don't have a competition because I feel that for me for my path right. I know I'm placed where I'm where I am for a mm -hmm. reason and I can take that and I can let it guide me to where it's going to guide me everybody's going to make their own choices as to whether or not they're going to use Mary Kay Cosmetics or not right. and if they choose another that's that there's there's really no effect of that because look at the millions of people that are in the world. Sure. So there's absolutely. always another place to, to branch out to, but there's also, you have to understand that every touch could lead somewhere else. Right. Um, and so I never look at it because that could be a block for people. That could mm -hmm. be, well, you know, it's oversaturated and I know somebody who is already in it and we might have, you know, similar um, relatives or family members that would that be, you know, would that be make it more uphill battle for me? Um, you know, a coworker, a friend, a neighbor. The woman who brought me in lives a half a mile down the street from me. Right. And you're still able 
We to are work both together. very successful right. sales directors with Mary Kay. So yeah. there's no there's no competition right. within the company and there's also even those external forces that you sure there's something for everybody out oh, there. Sure. You just have to go and you have to continue to find feel it. Feel like if it's if the company lines up with your values, yes. if you feel like this is what you en and do you enjoy? Yeah, do you have passion absolutely, for it? Absolutely. Yes. You know if you're doing it and you're kind of feeling mm, you're just pushing going the, through the motions. Right. Yeah. Then maybe it's time to like look for something else and yep say that right so is there anything else you'd like to add that I'm not thinking of that like something to be inspirational for other I people I think that you know at a time that we're at right now where communication is a little bit difficult too I think that one of the other successes that I find in our entrepreneurship is to keep your resources broadened to not just look at one stream, but to really okay. be able to open up and, and to be educated to all forums. Mm. And so I've, I've had to be educated in terms of um, promoting my business on social media. Yes. and following certain guidelines. You know, we are still a, a home-based business. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to stay on that path as well, um, you know, to constantly put myself in a place of meeting new people uh, helps me to, to make different contacts as well. And so I don't just dabble in one pool. Okay, yes. I, I'm very, I have my, my hand in a lot of different places to be able to pool those resources because as we mentioned earlier, you never know when you make that one touch where that could possibly lead. It's a ripple right. effect. Oh, sure. And so if you have your hand in a couple different areas, you have your websites, you're on social media, you are you know, able to be found easily, you have a brand for yourself, mm -hmm. people know your name, you know, and, and you, you have networking opportunities out there. Think of all those ripples that are continuing on and on and on um, that you're constantly being able to make um, touches with that will open up even more resources. So I think it's being able to um, stay current mm. with communication and recognizing yes. that people don't pick up phone calls, that they don't recognize the numbers anymore. Ex yes. And in the nine plus almost 10 years that I've been in the business, that's probably one of the biggest things. Sure. Is that when I would call to set up those on in-home appointments, people would pick up the phone and we would have a lovely conversation and now it's, I called, I left a voicemail, I may text you, I may email, I may try to, you know, with your permission, find on, so it's all of those places with the permission, Yes. but to be willing and able to go through that knowing that ultimately that's where you're going to find your resources and, and to continue to network. Okay, that's great because times are changing quickly. Very, very fast. Quickly, and so it's to and if stay you're not willing to stay, stay current, current, yes. So I think the underlying theme here is to be willing to keep that willingness. It has to a drive from mm -hmm. inside you has to be there to reach out to others, yes. to take mentorship, yes. to be willing to change and to believe in yourself yes. and all that stuff. And just keep going, find your internal drive and just let it continue to fuel you. That's great. Yes. Well, thank you, Megan. Thank it's been you, really Marianne. delightful. Yes, it has. So I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Learn from the Experts. And if you'd like to learn more about Megan and her business, you can go to WBOA.org and look up her name. She has her profile and all her contact information. So thank you for joining us and see you another time. Bye.